Hey YouTube and welcome to another reef update for the Aqua Reef 400. So in this update I'm going to take you down and have a look at the sump and we're going to go in a bit more detail on what additives I add to the, the system each day and what I do to keep this tank running. So this is my sump. I'm currently running the standard Aqua 1 skimmer that comes with the Aqua Reef 400 which is the Aqua 1 G220 skimmer. And yeah, it's worked really well the whole time. I haven't had a problem with it. I have flooded the house a few times, but that's my mistake for playing with things that I shouldn't right before I leave the house. Now, those that own an Aqua Reef 400 would know that the center compartment of the sump is meant to contain bio balls, but I've removed them and replaced it with macroalgae to create a refugium for my tank. I think it's much better anyway, but it's up to you, I suppose. If you wanted to keep the bio balls, go for it. But I also added the little Aqua One LED light above for the light for the refugium, which I think works really great. I've also taken out the, the foam pad kind of things and moved them into the first baffle. But where they were, I've put a filter sock. So I find the filter socks really good. A lot of people don't like filter socks, but I seem to think it works for me. So that's why I've got one. And I've got the Auto Aqua Smart Top Off System. It is the greatest thing I've ever bought. I really think it's a good investment. So if you're gonna get a Auto Top Off System, definitely get something like this. I just run a little bit of carbon in a in a bag mesh bag down the bottom there, and that's pretty much it. I also run a phosphate reactor with phosphan in it, and that seems to get my phosphate levels right down to zero really quick. So I'd recommend that for anyone who wants to fight their phosphates. My additives are the Reef Foundation Part A and Reef Foundation Part B by Red Sea. I find them really good. I use the powder version for the Part B and I use the liquid version for Part A. So I feed my fish a mixture of flake, little pellets and a lot of different types of frozen food like mysis, brine shrimp, bloodworm, you know, the usual kind of stuff. And yeah, my fish really like the frozen food. So they always devour everything. So that's it for another reef update. Um, yeah, keep watching my videos and please subscribe.